Hello, my name is John Ford and welcome to my Proxmox Automated Environment Provisioning course series. We've already gone ahead in previous videos and set up a PFSense firewall that we're going to use to provide internet access to our internal cloned networks. In this video, I am going to talk about how to install the Kimu guest agent on PFSense. This will allow it to better integrate with Proxmox and additionally display some extra statistics that we wouldn't be able to obtain if the Kimu guest agent weren't installed. Installing the Kimu guest agent on PFSense isn't quite as straightforward as installing it on other operating systems. However, I found this step-by-step -step guide that gives you a very good outline of what you have to do to install the Kimu guest agent, and I will be going through it in this video. As usual, I have left a link to this guide that I am using in the description of this video in case you'd like to reference that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Kimu guest agent package with pkg install y Kimu guest agent. So going back to pfSense in my Proxmox instance, remember just like we did before, we can get to a shell by selecting 8, the shell option. So if I type in 8 and press enter, I now have access to a shell and I can do pkg install dash y kimu guest agent. From here, it says modify your etsy rc.conf.local file, and we're going to add these two lines to the file. All right. You can also optionally add this line to the file, but as you can see, it is commented out. Therefore, it's not really necessary. So we will only be adding these two lines here. Remember the nano editor is not present in pfSense, so we'll have to use v or vi. In v or vi, you can enter insert mode to make changes to a file by pressing i. So I will press i, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy over these two lines, and I'll skip ahead in the video to when I do that. Now that I have typed out those two lines, I will write changes to the file and exit the file by hitting escape and then typing in colon wq and pressing enter. And now if I print out the contents of that file, you'll notice that those two lines have been written to the file. Of course, you could more directly follow the guide and use this um, cat command and redirect it to the etcrcconf local file. I just prefer to use a command line file editor, and so that's why I used v instead. I'm going to do the same thing with this next step, which is to create the user local etcrc.d kimu-agent.sh file. I will say v user local etcrc.d kimu agent.sh. Once again, I'll press i to enter, enter insert mode and make changes to this file. And I will go ahead and copy the lines that are displayed here. Once I have finished typing this out, I will again hit escape and then colon wq enter. And if we print out the contents of that file, you'll notice it has the contents we just added. Note that this file will be executed on startup and will start the Kimu guest agent automatically. From there, we're going to make this file executable 
by providing it with execute permissions. To do this, we'll run chmod plus x user local etsy rc.d kimu agent.sh. And now that file should be executable. I can print out the permissions to make sure that ran properly. You'll notice that that file does in fact have execute permissions for all users. And last but not least, we can start the Kimu guest agent with service Kimu guest agent start. Once this is done, just make sure that you have Kimu guest agent enabled for this virtual machine in Proxmox. You can go ahead and do that by clicking on options, going to Kimu guest agent. If it says disabled here, you can click, click edit, click use Kimu guest agent and select OK. Then you'll have to restart your PFSense firewall. Assuming you did all this properly, you should be able to see that your IP addresses that the firewall has are now listed here. So for example, in my case, I have the WAN network where I can see the PFSense firewall's IP address here and the LAN network where I can see its address here. And that's it for installing the Kimu guest agent on the PFSense firewall.